we are always insisting that whenever a critical or high high severity batch is published by any vendor this batch should be deployed on your production environment after following your patch management process any critical or high patch need to be deployed immediately after ensuring that this patch will pass the sanity check because otherwise you will may be susceptible to being exploited by this vulnerability whenever any proof of concept or valid proof of concept exploit will be available online because once this is done the threat actor can use this proof of concept or use this exploit to weaponize their attacks and attack your environment and then deploy any kind of malware including but not limited to of course the ransomware and today we have a news that is related to old or let's say last year CVE that was released by Microsoft and this CVE was affecting list of exchange server products and this CVE was causing a remote code execution vulnerability with which is essentially means that the threat actor will have the capability to instruct the exploited system to send or to execute a certain command one of these commands to be for example getting or downloading the pieces of malware code from the internet this is kind of remote code execution we are instructing the uh, victim system to execute commands one of these commands of course will be such as go and grab this piece of malware of this piece of ransomware from the public internet of course if this system has internet reachability available for it anyway this is not our topic but our topic is we have a critical cve that was released on 13 of july last year and yet some organizations are not using the batch management process or does not apply batches and as a result a threat actor has managed to deploy a ransomware using this vulnerability and according to bleeping computer a company called Veronis, which is a security service provider for customers uh, has been called to investigate the process and they find that the, the initial access for this attack was related to using of these vulnerabilities that was released and has batching available from Microsoft since the last year and by navigating in this article and it is very interesting article if you are interested to understand how that's happened I will share it in the description box under this video and you will find a lot of details about this you need to make sure that whenever any new patch whenever any high severity patch this patch need to be deployed in your environment immediately because if you didn't do it so you will may be suspectable or you may face the same result that happened to any company that doesn't upload or apply these patches and when we try to remember what happens during the peak of ransomware attack uh, especially the wanna cry back to 2017 2018 the problem were mainly related to microsoft exchange we had a kind of vulnerability in microsoft exchange and by using this vulnerability the threat actor managed to exploit and managed to spread the wanna cry ransomware in the environment so Although Microsoft was released uh, or already uh, released the patch that is covering this, uh, let's say, this vulnerability since a year, but yet some people are still not patched. So you need to apply the patch immediately. And please don't forget the CVE uh, that we talked about on, on my channel just a few days ago that was related to Microsoft. I believe it is 6809 and this cve is also categorized as a very critical yet there is no valid or public proof of concept exploit is still available for this vulnerability but it is a matter of time before malicious actors and threat actors manage to find a way to exploit this, this vulnerability in a successful manner so you need to ensure that you are applying this vulnerability patch and make sure that your exchange is if you are exposing it to the public internet and this makes sense of course exchange is one of the core or key services that could be published to the public internet because it is the main email system you need to categorize and make a risk assessment and apply batches after following your patch management process stay safe and keep your system updated 
and have a great day.